not looking to counter punch. He's looking to front run. Round one begins. First two punches are jabs from Khan. Doing a very smart thing, Jerry. He's not completely running from Alvarez. Hard right hand by Khan, following the jab. And immediately, you see the hand speed advantage for Amir Khan. And that's what he had to do, Jim. He had to put something on him and let him know that he has to respect him right away. And right there, uh, uh, Canelo just missed the left hook that he could have got Khan with, but he didn't throw it. Now he saw it. He saw how he saw the setup. He saw that he missed it, then he tried to throw it a second time, but it was too late. Whenever you've seen little guys move up and beat big guys, they have to make a showing in that first round. They have to land something big. Ali versus Foreman, Roy Jones versus John Ruiz. They have to let the bigger guy know that they're in there with a real fighter. And Khan is trying to do that right now. Yeah, he did it right away with that straight right hand. Got in a left hook there. But the problem is now that he also has to prove that he can absorb one of Canelo's punches. Canelo is a measured, patient fighter. There's part of his bread and butter as he fires the right hand to the body and digs it in. Just missing with a right cross across the top. See, Khan's really got sizzling hand speed. And not bad power. Hard left hook by Alvarez in there. Khan took it well. He yeah, took that very well. But we see, when did he get caught with the hook? When he led. Canelo is a natural counterpuncher, wants the other guy to come to him. Crowd who's in Oz, as again Canelo lands the left, wasn't big. Khan once again flashing his hand speed in combination. Can't get too big for his own heart, Jim. He has to keep it basic and keep it smart. He can't go in and just attack like he's a big puncher. Well, so far, I think Khan's trainer, Virgil Hunter, is going to like this first round because his fighter has shown some aggression, has demonstrated his hand speed, and the one time he got caught with a left hook, he handled it well. Very well. Khan's movement... Critically important, can he do it for 12 rounds? That's the question. And can he move without running, not waste energy and give Canelo a head of steam? Boy next to her and the girl to the right after she almost cries from a single right hand that Khan landed. Not used to seeing him get hit seeing Uncle Al Alvarez get caught with shots like that in round one. Khan trying to get away as Alvarez reaches with the right hand to the body. Canelo's obviously stepping up the pressure here in the second round. Moving closer. Trying to breathe on Amir. This forcing is Amir to move on his feet. This is when Amir's movement has to be purposeful. Fights his way out of the corner with hand speed. Rather than excessive. Purposeful, and he also has to make uh, Canelo keep his hands or his defense on high alert. And make him pay for misses like that. Yeah, because there's another one-two that lands for Amir Khan. Canelo's going for broke, and we see that. That's how you know that Amir Khan hurt him with that shot or got his attention with that shot in the first round because he's trying to get it back already. Canelo landed a right hand to the body, missed with the left hook. Khan peppers him with jabs and gets picked up. I don't know if the danger for Khan is just those wild swings by Canelo. The danger is when Khan leads, comes to Canelo, or throws more than two punches at a time, and it gives Canelo the chance to counter. He should only pot shot Canelo until about the fifth or the sixth round. Don't give him that chance to punch between the second and third punch. A terrific fight so far in terms of tactic, speed, and skill. Very difficult for Amir Khan to stop himself from throwing three and four punch combinations if he lands. It may not be the best idea, but his punches flow like water when he's in the groove. Yeah, they do.
Canelo's issue in the past, fighting fleet-footed boxers, has been cutting off the ring. He seems to have quicker hands than feet. And here it seems Khan is able to move where he pleases. Like I said, the whole thing will be, can he move like this for 12 complete rounds? Well, Khan's hand speed and foot speed advantages have shown up. The question now is, when or if Alvarez's power advantage will show up as well. Virtually every boxing expert who predicted the fight picked Alvarez to win by knockout. He seems pretty clearly to have lost the first two rounds on Sports. Kovalev scheduled in the fall. Andre is the master of the Virgil Hunter style, kind of consummate professional boxer. And no doubt pulling for his training mate Amir Khan here tonight. Harold Letterman agreeing with us, as you see, giving the first two rounds to the British star. That's not terribly surprising, given the speed advantage. Of course, he's a front runner, which is why I said that the layoff wouldn't hurt him much, because he's not looking to make shots off of counter shots. He's looking to be ahead. And, and Khan took that left hook very well from Canelo. He's landed three of them now. Canelo has landed three solid left hooks. He hasn't yet hurt Amir Khan with the punch. Gonna have to wear him down some before he hurts him, Jim. My prediction is he hurts him after he catches him in the body shot. In fact, if I were training Canelo Alvarez, I would tell him focus on the body for the first several rounds. That's what he should have did, but... You know, different trainers have different philosophies. Good left hook by Khan. There's a sense because many Mexican greats of the past have been kind of seek and destroy, left hook to the body kind of fighters that Canelo should be that too. But that's not really his style. When he's doing it, he's trying to kind of imitate a style that's, that's not completely natural for him. And guess what? Because that's not his style, that's why he couldn't give Floyd Mayweather the fight that we expected him to give Floyd. Because to give Floyd a fight, that's the fight he would have had to fight. He's already fallen, Canelo, into the kind of fight that Amir Khan wanted, where you pick your head up after a couple rounds, say, Canelo may be down in this fight. Does he have the kind of tactics to turn it around? Now you see Canelo doing something smart, though. He's even hitting Khan on the arms very hard. So Virgil yells, point, point. Either of you guys know what that means? Could be talking about the pivot, pointing with the left foot, point to the left, point to the right, keep him out of position, don't stand there, look at him, keep pointing to the left and pointing to the right. Therefore, you're not allowing him to set up a, uh, an attack straight ahead on you. This was a pretty even round until Khan landed that one too, right there. Looked like that right hand bothered Canelo from where I'm sitting. I'm a little too enthusiastic about what Khan did in the last 30 seconds of round three. Overall, Harold Letterman sees it differently. Harold, what do you have so far? Look, it's him. I get a 29-28, two rounds to one on Mia Khan. Jim, in the third round, I thought Canelo tracked him down. But, you know, he, 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 he tries to move forward slowly, land hard shots. And I thought he did a rough on that in round three to win the round. I mean, he's obviously the more powerful guy. I thought, you know, he got inside. And Mia Khan didn't dominate him with that left jab like he did in rounds one and two. Canelo got to him. And, and I thought he got to him enough to win round three. Two to one, Amir Khan.
Everyone loves the blood and guts, all-out action fights with two guys coming at each other. But this is of a type of a fight in boxing that's among the most dramatic. The smaller, faster fighter walking a tightrope against the bigger, stronger guy so far successfully. Classic boxer versus classic puncher. Oh, good right hand on over the top. Good body shot by Alvarez in return. And that was the right counterpunch for Alvarez. That was a devastating right to the body from Canelo. Left hand to the body by Canelo. Starting to get closer, which is giving him a better chance to land his body shots. Khan, unlike Erislandi Lara, who fought Canelo very tough and close, but ultimately lost the decision, Khan's movement is much more purposeful and less wasteful. He remains in position to counter like that when he avoids Canelo's shots. Alvarez getting his jab going, but he missed with the right hand, and Khan countered accurately in return. And Khan's quick hands are causing Alvarez a little bit of a problem right now. question is, is Alvarez's power causing Khan a problem? How much is he feeling those punches to the body? That and uh, Alvarez is using a beautiful jab right now. Yes, he's landed his jab in this round. Reminding us of how Triple G came out and used his jab against uh, the kid we saw tonight. David Lemieux? Yes. Khan wound up in an exchange moments ago. That's the danger zone for him. A little bit wild, maybe a few too many punches, exposing him to that counter from Canelo. Now Canelo doing exactly what he needs to do. Now he's consistently on the hunt, keeping it, keeping the pressure on Canelo, not allowing Canelo to rest. Doing a much better job of cutting off the ring here in the fourth than it had been the case up to this point. This is the way you want to see him fight. designated by the governing body which controls Canelo Alvarez's middleweight title belt as an absolute must mandatory challenger after this fight. Hard left hook for Alvarez lands upstairs. He had to reach a little bit, but he caught Khan with it. I thought Khan's legs wobbled a little bit from that punch. Just a little bit. So, so far this fight has been the best version of what it seemed it could be. <laughs> And Triple G, if he's hoping for a Canelo fight, at a certain point, I think, is going to get a little bit nervous. Well, almost nobody has conjured the question of whether Amir Khan, with his hand speed, would pose a riddle for Triple G. That's just not something people have even thought about. But Khan does say that he would expect to fight Triple G if he wins the fight. Long way to go. Yeah, but Khan has that heart. Khan has a heart that he won't duck and dodge nobody. Any question about Khan's heart should have been erased when he won an Olympic silver medal at age 17 and then stuck around rebuffing huge financial offers to become a pro so that he could get another chance to fight Mario Kindelan of Cuba, the man who beat him and win the world championship from him the following year. That's heart. That's real hard. This seems to be a pivotal round to me strategically. Hard punch Canelo, by Canelo is able to land more of his big shots that seem to affect Khan, and yet Khan is also not letting the play get taken away from him. They're both fighting, it seems, as well as possible at the moment. Well, the thing for Canelo right now is he has to do what we want Khan not to do. We don't want Khan to throw three or four punches because he'll get caught between them. But Canelo has to throw three or pu four punches to land that third, fourth, or fifth punch. Here's the gradual undercurrent, which may ultimately decide the fight. Khan is throwing almost exclusively head punches, and he's outlanding Canelo to the head. But Canelo is piling up body punches. Coming into this round, he had landed 16 to only three for Khan. And as those numbers grow, those are like the hidden boats from out in the rural areas. Canelo is building up the body damage on Khan. But what Canelo can't do is try to stand back and box Khan like he's doing right now because he won't beat Khan like this. Ooh, good right to the body from Canelo. Khan has a redness around that right eye. May have a cut either on the nose or, on the eye, or right up under the eye from that left hook earlier. 
Khan now forced to acknowledge those Canelo shots. He's having more and more difficulty getting away from Khan's pressure. As Khan does a better job of cutting off the ring. Or excuse Canelo. me, Canelo does a better job of cutting off the ring. That's the shot. See that third shot? Those are the ones that he has to land. And even though Khan won't let the play get taken away, it does feel like there's been a, a kind of sea change. In To the body has been Canelo's best punch all night long. Khan has been landing his jab and sometimes his right hand across the top. But if there's a decisive punch in the flow of the fight so far, it would appear to be Canelo's right hand to the body. Canelo outlanding Khan 36 to 29 in the last three rounds, and as you see, he's won all of those rounds on Harold Letterman's scorecard. So at least on Harold's unofficial scorecard, Canelo Alvarez inching ahead in the fight. The longer it goes, the more ringside experts expect the damage to pile up in Canelo's favor. Larger, stronger man. Amir Khan fighting above the 147-pound level for the first time in his career. Canelo at his preferred weight of 155. Hard body chop with the right hand by Canelo. And now Canelo's outboxing Khan. Khan's attempts are, hit, are hitting air or gloves, and Canelo's attempts are landing clean. And that was that third punch that I was talking about. He threw a one, two, three, right hook to the body, left hook to the head, and the left hook and the right body shot landed. It's just been a simple matter of closing the distance, getting closer, cutting off the ring, creating less and less physical space between himself and Khan. And what a display of hand speed by Khan there. Exactly, because Canelo backs out now, it gives him time. Tries to box like he did again with Floyd Mayweather. You can't box a boxer, you have to fight him. It's much harder to do against Floyd Mayweather than anybody else. I'm not saying but that, I'm just saying you should have learned that from, Floyd, from the Floyd fight. And you definitely supposed to imply, impose your will on a guy like this. I think slowly he is. It seems that over the last several rounds, Canelo's having his way increasingly. Body shots, yeah. body shots. Jim and said. now the jab upstairs landing with frequency. Not just that the body shots score points. It's it's money in the bank. Uh, and and the, it, there's a cumulative effect that I think we're starting to see it. You sap a man's confidence with body shots as well as taking away his energy, and everybody... Oh! Right hand shot by Canelo, 